Okay, so in this video we're going to be going through a unrelated t-test or an independent samples t-test. So this is where you have uh, some scores from two uh, different conditions and the condition was manipulated between subjects, i.e. different participants took part in condition 1 than those who took part in condition 2. So in our example we're using just a simple reaction time experiment. So in the reaction time column we have a score measured in milliseconds um, the way you organize your data in this is that all the reaction times go in one column um, and then in the second column we have a another variable that uh, stipulates which of the two conditions the participants are in. So we can see these first 17 participants were in condition 1 and the next 17 participants were in condition 2. So it's very important you lay your data out this way. Uh, it's very different to a related t-test which we'll cover in a later video. So once you have your data uh, set out in this structure we're ready to analyze. So in order to do this you click on analyze, go down to compare means and select independent samples t-test. Click this. Let me just reset this. What you need to do is to move over into the test variable, your dependent variable, so your measurement which in our case is reaction time, so we move this over to test variable. And then in the grouping variable is where you designate your uh, column which separated the scores into two groups. So we select condition and move it into the grouping variable. Now we have to define our groups. So our group 1 is uh, designated by a 1 in the first column, so it's very simple. Our group 1 will be 1 and our second group is uh, related to the number 2. So just hit number 2 there, hit continue. And this is it. Uh, now we just hit OK and we should get some output. Great, so this is the output you get from a uh, t-test for uh, an independent design. So we have uh, two boxes. In the first one is just your group statistics. It gives you your uh, numbers in each condition the means of each condition, standard deviations, and the standard errors of each condition. Now here is the box of interest. Uh, so for simplicity's sake we'll just focus on whether the t-test is significant. So we uh, first of all will select our t-value which here is 1.534 which for degrees of freedom 32 is not significant so our two-tailed significant value reported by SPSS is 0.135 which is above our significance criteria of 0.05 so we can conclude that although there is a numerical difference between these two conditions it is not significant statistically and that's how you do a independent uh, t-test in SPSS so it's very straightforward